I don't know if I chose so much <laughs> as it was chosen for me. Um, I was looking for a job at the time and I saw Lane College uh, and I applied. And uh, when I first came here, I thought that it was very different from what I was used to. Um, but now I feel like I've actually been called to be here. I, th I think that because I choose to look at it from a spiritual perspective, um, that I am here for a reason. I didn't know what it was in the beginning, but now I know I'm supposed to be here. I'm still working. Um, I think, I don't know if we ever really get out of poverty, so to speak. I think in our own mindset. The mind, say the mind stays, yeah. Still stay there, yeah. The mindset. The mindset yeah. um, maybe we feel like we do get out of it just to make ourselves feel better. Maybe it's a psychological thing. Um, but I had to work very hard. I had to apply several times to different higher educational institutions. I knew I wanted to get my master's degree. I knew I wanted to get a PhD, but I couldn't get a PhD in West Virginia. There were no institutions that offered PhD programs there. So I really did have to go outside of my comfort zone. And, and I think that might be a trick, that you do have to go outside of your comfort zone. Don't, don't be afraid to move outside of your comfort zone um, with anything, with anything. And I don't know if um, getting out of poverty is necessarily the goal. I think getting out of your own mindset, your own mind, I think breaking free from that is more important than trying to break free from poverty. I don't know if that culture is ready for it. Um, it's not well received. Higher education is not well received in many places in this country. Um, so that's why I think maybe it chooses us more than we choose it a lot of times. Um, I, I believe in higher education, but maybe it's not for everyone.